Welcome, Manchi Native here, and I'm with Native Janet. She's not on the mic right now. The upcoming video you are about to see does have commentary, so there's not going to be any type of music cued during it. Now, this is a medium build. I say medium because we actually have a bigger build on stage three in my world. Now, you know me, I like to build a house on each island that I come across, and I'm in the process of doing so. Native Janet is doing the exact same thing, except when she builds, she just builds by herself. I, I like help from time to time, and she did help me. She laid down some carpet, as well as helped me do the second floor. So I thank her very much for that and all her help. So please, enjoy the video. Comanche Native here, and I'm giving a better look at this build that we did. Me and Native Janet worked on this building. This is probably the second biggest building I have worked on in Portal Knights. I wanted to give it that Adobe type of feel. I mean, it looks nice at night. It really does. But uh, during the day, it looks really, really hot. I'm not quite sure if that's the reason why the buildings are designed that way. Okay, let's go ahead and go on inside. Oh, hang on. Now, I put kind of like a fountain. We don't know how to make fountains just yet. And you can't really grow too much here, it's just cactus. Now, I have to say, hang on, I was going to go inside, but... You see the support beams that are sticking out of the building? I I put that all the way around the building. Even on the other side that you can't even get to. I put that much detail into this building. I'm like, and why am I doing that? Okay. Alright. Let's go inside. Let's do it. Now, I made a courtyard in the middle of this build. And the only reason why I did that was because this was here. This little water area. And I just shaped it up, turned it into a pool. It had one palm tree growing next to it. So I put the other palm trees on the side there. And it turned out pretty well. I was kind of happy about that. And I have these on the outside, just in case someone wants to come in and do a build. Oh, and take a look at this. Look, this, that's an error right there. Those are actually supposed to be normal windows. Um, apparently, I got kicked one time when me and Native Janet was playing. And then when I came back, the windows turned like that. Now, I haven't tried to take them down. I just kind of kept it like that. Not quite sure how, why or how that happened. I'm just going to assume an error. I mean, if I chopped it down, it might be the whole window. But I'm just going to leave it there. Now, I have an open type of roof. Because I like how the sun comes in. You see the shadow on that? I love that. It looks so cool. Oops, kept the door open. Sorry. Alright. Oops. Bumped into the palm tree. Alright, let's go into the main room. Now, this is where I live. Me and Native Janet live on the bottom floor. Again, this was extremely hard to do. The carpet alone and the size of the building room and everything. I mean, look at all these lights. This was extremely hard to do. To put these lights in here just to light this whole place up. Whew. This is the library. The little library part. Of course, I don't have any scrolls put up just yet. Now, I didn't have a lot of the blue, red, and green carpet. Yellow. Um... So I put the towels down. It turned out okay. Now, I was asked by Native Janet, do I come up with a design ahead of time when I do this? 
No, I don't. I just do it on the fly. I'll lay some tiles down. I'll take a look at it and see how it looks. And I think, okay, does that look okay? Does that look all right? And then I'll just go with the design after that. So this was not planned at all. Neither was this house. I did not plan this house. I just wanted to make it like an adobe and it turned out pretty well. It's just the lighting part that really took a while. Now, I made the bed. They don't give us enough beds in Portal Nights. I made it a little bit like a double bed type of thing. Maybe it could be a rollout bed. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to showcase this. It looks nice. It, it's kind of cool looking. I made a bathroom, but this isn't finished yet. It's it's not finished. It's um, it's bare. There's we don't even have a toilet or sink up yet. So this I just made. That's why it, it's the way it is. Now this area right here is supposed to be where you go in and you can make items. You have your workbench. I like to make two of two things because I don't like to wait that long when things are being made. Uh, I do need to make another one of these right here. I put the chest up on these tables. I kind of like how that looks instead of ha having it on the ground. And I throw the chairs next to the deal, you know, so when you're working on it, because when you're looking at this thing, that's pretty high for a workbench. See? Again, there's no scrolls. Now, the staircase right there goes up to my brother's room, or one of my brother's room. We're just going to go ahead. Oh, yes. And then, of course, the fireplace. Because in the desert, at night, it gets very, very cold. Okay, let's go ahead and go this way. Now, this is sort of a indoor type of pool, maybe. The reason why I put this here was because this palm tree right here was growing. I didn't want to destroy it. Oops, sorry. Brrr. Didn't want to destroy it. <laughs> that water is like... Just wash your face. Ah. Whoops. Went to first person view. Mmm, pool water. <laughs> so I went over there and I put another palm tree up. And then I shape this up. Now, you notice there's a difference here. Um, I am waist high. And the pool over there, I was a little bit lower. Hang on. Let's, let's go back. About right here. Now, the bubbles will not pop up for me in this pool. I don't know why. Because if you're like this, you'll see the bubbles. But for some reason... I tried to make it as deep as the other one, and the bubbles popped up when I was in this one. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it was because I had to make this pool, and the other one is kind of natural. I don't know. But not quite sure what this is. Maybe just like a little mini pool. And I'm using the bamboo furniture because I like how it looks here. I think it kind of fits. honestly did not know what to do with this room here. I mean, I was thinking about making it a kitchen. Because, you know, I don't have a kitchen up yet. So I just laid this down for now. And again, this this goes up to uh, my brother's room. One of my brother's room. Now, they, they're not here to actually pick a room just yet. But this is one of my brother's rooms that me and Native Janet designed. For them so they get this whole place right here this is their workshop area that they have at the beginning there's no railing so you know watch your step but this is kind of like a little workshop area for them to go and work on items if they wanted to and of course I gave them a bathroom and it's not fixed up just yet still working on that but again, you see the lighting, it's a little bit tricky up here. 
I think I have to put a little bit more lights. And this is one of their rooms. As to who last shot Native Mercy, I don't know. They have to, they're going to have to come here and pick one of these rooms for them. Oh, I need to add some chairs. Okay, that's one thing I need to do. And of course, they have a fireplace. I made their rooms a joint suite, I guess you can say. And the reason why is because, I don't know, maybe they wouldn't like having it to walk out and go back. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I figure my brothers might want to visit each other and say, Hey, brother, how's it going? Hey, what you making? Or steal from each other. I don't know. Either way. But the rooms are sort of similar. They're not exactly the same. The carpet is a little bit different. The design. Now, Native Janet designed the carpet in this one right here. She put that all down. And then I, I put that down over there. And of course, the bathroom. But again, it uh, it's not finished. Working on it. Still working on it. And they have their workshop on this side instead. Alright. And that's it. Oh, ooh, a little dusty, a little windy. The day seems to be kind of hot out here. Now, I did put the support beams all the way around. I didn't do that wall right there. I need to do that one right there. But that's it. That's the courtyard and everything, guys. I was going to build on a, another deck on top. Maybe put a building up there. You know, right around this area here. But uh, I decided it would probably be too big. And I was advised against it. Now, I made this ladder, because, you know, I noticed on some pictures they had, like, ladders. This isn't quite a ladder. These are fences, but it kind of looks like one. So if my brothers, or whoever lives on this side, if one of my brothers do not like to go inside and then up, they could just go through this way. And that's it. That is the adobe house that I made here. I, you know, again, I'm working on themes. Now, you might be wondering about the outside of the house. Okay. Now, yes, the support beams. I went over there and I made it go all the way around. And I told Native Janet, I said, this is so crazy because who is going to come back here and look at that? Who's going to look at that detail? You know? I told her, no one. And if they did, wow. Hats off to them. Now... The only way I can get back there is this way. And that's exactly what I did. I went over there and I laid this out. And carefully, carefully, put the support beams in the back. You know, hidden detail that, you know, only I would know about. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. And there we have it. Woo! That was hard work. This building... As big as it is, was very hard to do. I guess I'll keep this here. So when my brothers do play, they can see that crazy detail. I get that way sometimes. I start to put detail in everything that I do. Only because, I don't know, I just force a habit, I guess. Not quite sure. I wish I could grow other stuff here. I would love a beautiful garden, but, you know, it's just going to be these guys, these cactus dudes. Oh, not very friendly, but a good source of water, you know, very good source of water. So all this front area is going to have to be redesigned. I might do something with that. Oh, little fun fact. You see that eagle? It could be an eagle, it could be a hawk, could be a condor, whatever. You can never go up there to take a look at it and the reason why is because it is adjusted to your angle the higher you get the higher the bird gets so it's constantly away from you now i'm not quite sure if it follows you but that's what we found out me and native janet we, i said let's go visit it 
And then I was going, oh, let's go, let's go. And it kept getting further and further away from us. And I was like, oh, man, bummer. Because I actually started thinking maybe I could build in the sky to where I could see that bird fly past the house. I think that would have been kind of cool. Mm. But this whole front area is not done. I will probably do an update once I start to clear away all that stuff. Start to destroy it. Put some more stuff up. Do a little garden type of thing. I don't know. But anyway, that is the Adobe house. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to name this. I, I want to name my houses, but this is just the Adobe house that I have here. And that's it! Yay! Finish with this one, except I gotta do the front area. Now the thing is, it is kind of tricky to build in Portal Knights because you do have to go find those resources. That's the only thing about building in this game. But once you're finished with your build, it does feel very, very good. Now, I will continue to do videos like this and post them up. Native Janet isn't on the mic at the minute. But this is Comanche Native and Native Janet, and we'll see you next time.